and those who are trying to convert our universities into a political pressure group don't violate academic freedom. This goes for the presidents who protested our entry into Cambodia. And I say that not because I disagree with their political view, but because they injected day-to-day -day politics into an action connected with the universities. If we do not separate politics from the universities, then I'm afraid it is we lose people's respect and the universities will cease to be effective. To my mind, this is the core of the problem. And we have to find ways to get back into the proper intellectual atmosphere which used to prevail on our campuses. Well, I find that personally difficult to justify. However, I would venture the opinion that perhaps the, uh, the, the elimination of corporal punishment would be uh, something that could, that some people might construe as undermining or diminishing the confidence of, of the principals in the administration. That is, it would, it would uh, uh, abrogate some of their uh, authority as being uh, uh, in absolute control of the, of the children and of, the, of their school. I think it's vitally important in the first place that the uh, bond issue pass. It's for about $38 million, and it will not result in any new taxes whatsoever, either this year or hereafter. Uh, primarily, the uh, bond issue is uh, a catch-up project. There are 
most of it, some 22 or $3 million of it, relate to street improvements. And these are matters which are simply vital and will be stopped, construction will be stopped on these projects, uh, many of which are uh, partially completed, uh, unless the bond issue passes. Well, it's very difficult to do it on an economic basis because you can't really do a cost-benefit. You can't find out what the benefit is of an additional policeman or an additional fireman. There's no way of getting a dollars and cents answer to that. So it's a very difficult kind of thing to measure. What does it end up being then? A purely political question? I think so. But aside from that, hasn't the uh, Goals for Dallas recent potentials, economic potential study uh, included in its potentials a tax increase? Yes. Uh, in fact, it's going to be about a threefold increase from 1967 to 1980. Actually, we've had a uh, relatively quiet holiday period here in the city, uh, violence-wise and uh, traffic-wise also. I think it's going to come out uh, quieter, actually, a better, more safer period. This is a traffic aspect, the transient type uh, people going through our city, rushing in the short holiday period seems to cause a lot of problems. It's uh, very difficult to determine uh, what this, all this increase is going to go for. This, this was an outside number that was uh, given to us by the National Planning Association on their projections. But if, even if, if it does have a fair degree of credibility and 
city services were not increased as projected because the taxes were kept down and cut back, would that then have an effect on the potential economic growth of the city overall? It would probably have an adverse effect on the economic potential of the city. Items of great importance, uh, one of which is the removal of the Riverside Sewer Treatment Plant, which has been a, an eyesore and a smelly sort of thing for years and years, and it badly needs to be removed. This will be done if the bond issue passes. The Meacham Field improvements are vital at this particular time. Meacham Field has gotten to the point where it is self-supporting as far as operations are concerned, and we're at the point where uh, jet aircraft uh, can and will uh, come into Meacham Field, and uh, this can only be done if the new runway is constructed. It's vital that we spend the $2 million so that we can get uh, equivalent federal funding to complete this project and have it all ready by the time that the regional airport opens. Because when that happens, when the regional airport opens and uh, GSIA, Greater Southwest, is closed down, then Meacham Field is going to be even worse needed than it is now. And right now, it's one of the busiest uh, private uh, public airports uh, in the country. To exert their authority in the schools? I personally don't, and I think that a principal who feels that he must uh, uh, inflict uh, corporal punishment upon his students uh, is not a, as good a principal as one who would try to sit down and reason and counsel with the students and find out really what is the cause of, of their deviation. I think this has been particularly highlighted in the recent uh, Russian worldwide exercise, which you may recall for the first time the Russians sent their navies to all the seas of the world, and they climaxed this exercise by a visit of a, cru a missile cruiser, a missile destroyer, a missile submarine, two other submarines and support ships, which came actually into the Caribbean, into the Gulf of Mexico, back and made two visits to Cuba, and then went home. Thus we see the, the Soviets are determined to dominate the oceans of the world. The, the, the extensive growth of their navy, their merchant marine, and their fishing fleet has been astounding to all of us. Years ago, you never saw the Russians out of their home waters. Today, when you sail the seas, you find them everywhere. And for this reason, coupled with the, uh, of the expansion into the Caribbean and the Central and South America by the Russians, I think it's just most important that uh, we have a base like Guantanamo as an extension of the U.S. Navy into the Caribbean. You find yourself in a... In a